Say hello, YouTubes. Hello, YouTubes. Oh. Fine. Everybody can just look at all my boxes and my mess and DIY things and screw you too. Hello, my fellow favorite. <laughs> my dog just gave me this look like, what? Are you talking to me? Well, anyway, hello, my fellow fat kid friendly folk. Sorry, I did not mean to scare you. She's laying right in front of the camera, so if it falls over, it'll be her fault. But either way, I hope everybody is having a fantastic... What, what, what is today? Is today Tuesday? Well, you'll be watching it on Wednesday. Yeah, because it's... Yeah, yeah. It's already been a long week. I just got home from work, like, what time is it? I don't, I need a clock in here. I don't even know what time it is. Let's, uh, yeah, like an hour ago. I got home like an hour ago. A uh, long day, long work day. But it is time for the Q&A video. So I have various questions to answer from you fabulous, fat kid friendly family, followers, subscriber people. Yes, yes. So, I'm excited to dive into, to get dive, to get dive into that. But first, one quick announcement. I am doing another Wish app haul. Yes, I am. I'm waiting on the things, because multiple people have asked about doing more Wish app hauls. And that's the reason I'm telling you this. It's not just a random. Anyway. I'm doing another one. I have to wait for everything to arrive. And, <clears throat> excuse me, if you've ordered anything from there, you know it's going to take a while. And they said, like, July the 8th, if all goes well, is whenever the last item is supposed to be here. So, there's a lot of stuff that I ordered, and I'm super excited about that video. Um, what else was I going to say? I'm so scatterbrained. I'm tired. Again, work day. Nine hours I've already spent in front of a computer. I just knocked my printer. Um, I'm sitting in the floor because why not? Why not sit in the floor? I don't feel like sitting at the desk in a computer chair. I've already done that today. Um, for my contestant winners, that's it. That's giveaway winner. You aren't contestants. You weren't really fighting each other. But the giveaway winners, um, the grand prize winner, their package, I've already talked to them about that. It's going to get mailed out by NerdBlock. They get that automatically. Um, the other three people, I will be mailing those to you by this weekend. I promise. It's just, it's been busy. Okay? I will get that stuff out to you. I'm really, I'm trying to find boxes. You might end up actually getting your stuff in a recycled NerdBlock box. Because finding the size of box that I need, and I'm looking at them, to fit the stuff in that I'm going to send is just almost impossible. But either way, you will be getting getting that, and I will be ha having. <laughs> Maybe I should just start this over. Oh my god! You will be getting a tracking number for those packages, so that you can track them. That's what they're for. Okay. Moving forward, let's go ahead and start with the Q and A. I've got the stuff on my phone. Um, because my computer's there, and I'm not sitting at it, so I gotta pull up these questions that are right here. So, alright, let's start with question number one, and try to get through this as fast as we can. If it starts taking too long, we might have to make this a two-part thing, alright? So the first question, if you could have chosen to have been born during any decade, which would you have chosen and why? And who would you most have liked to meet or been friends with during that decade? That is a loaded question. Um, I guess the first thing that comes to my mind is the 50s. I love the 50s era and it has nothing to do with the oppression of women. No, I could do without that. But really more of like the style back then and I don't know, just... Yeah, style, music, atmosphere, I just simpler times, I don't know. I've always loved 
the 50s. I love, you know, jazz music, things like that, which that sort of answers another question. But, yes, I would say the 50s. Who would I like to meet? I don't know. I mean, who's around in the 50s? Frank Sinatra? I'm not a huge, huge fan of Frank Sinatra, to be honest. I mean, he's alright, but he's not my favorite. So, I might have to get back to you on that one. Because, hmm, who would I like to meet? I, d I don't know. I really have to think about that one. I always said if I met a celebrity, it would have been Robin Williams. I would have loved to have met that man. Like, I always loved him. I loved his humor. I loved his personality. Even with what he was struggling with, I just, I, I loved Robin Williams. He was, everybody that's ever worked with him said he was just the nicest person on set and always knew how to make people laugh. So, I really wanted to meet Robin Williams. So, yeah, we miss you, bud. What is the next question? It is Walmart, Target, or Kmart? Do people go to Kmart? Is that still? I mean, I know that where I live, we have a Kmart, but it's always, like, kind of empty. I can't tell you the last time I've been to a Kmart. Um, Target or Walmart? Okay, so I kind of go to both. If I plan on spending like $200, go to Target because it's almost impossible to walk into Target for like, I mean, and people say the same thing about Walmart, but it's almost impossible to walk in there for like two items. I end up walking out with an armful. You know, you're just like carrying everything and you're like, I'm going to need a cart because I've got too much stuff. Or you're doing that whole thing stuffed under and by the time you get to the register, your like fingers went numb. Um, Walmart. I go there for certain things because, unfortunately, it's cheaper for just various household products and things that I get. It is cheaper, so, I mean, where I live, the Walmart and Target are almost across from each other, so, I don't know. I like both. How old are you? How old am I? How old do you think I am? Okay. I am... 31! The big 3-1. I will actually be turning 32 very soon. My birthday is July the 1st. So, I will be the old 3-2 very, very soon. I don't feel 31. I really don't. People would ask me. I still feel like I'm in my 20s, like mid-20s. <laughs> Certainly act like it. But yeah, 31. It's amazing how I can stretch a simple question out farther than it needs to be. Um, who's your favorite Star Wars character? Mine is Chewbacca. He's even tattooed on my leg. Okay, I know who asked this because they followed me on Instagram and I looked at their Instagram and she has the cutest Chewbacca tattoo on the planet. I don't have her, her name in front of me. But she has the cutest. It's like a Hello Kitty Chewbacca tattoo. And it is adorbsable. I love it so much. It's so awesome. But my favorite Star Wars character. Um, I've always kind of clung to R2-D2. But then... I mean, I'm looking around at my stuff. Like, I have a lot of Darth Vader stuff as well. I love Darth Vader. Um, I just, I think... It's like R2-D2 and Vader. And, I, yeah, I really, I really like those two. Um, but R2-D2 is my buddy. Like, I don't know. Vader as well because of the story behind it and, and just, I don't know. There's just, <laughs> well, I'm immediately drawn to those two characters. Like, I never really go after Luke Skywar Skywalker, Skywalker, or Han Solo. I never really cling to those type of things. I mean, I will buy certain items, you know, like Millennium Falcon. I love Millennium Falcon stuff, but R2-D2, better. Yeah, we're going to go with that. Um, but if you knock over my camera dog, can you hear her? You're probably going to hear her snore in a minute because I'm an old fat dog as I am. All right, favorite movie. I am a huge, huge movie buff. And I know it'd be like, Star Wars, hands down, that's my favorite. As much as I love Star Wars, I do. Um, for non-series movies, non-series. 
My favorite is Moulin Rouge. It will always be my absolute favorite movie. I'm a theater geek. I did that in high school. I did it in college. I did community theater. Moulin Rouge, though, I absolutely, absolutely love that movie. And it's not just like the story as much. Um, if you haven't seen it, you need to watch it. I don't care who you are. It's not like just a sappy like romance story. I don't know the the filmography of it because Baz did it and just oh, it's good. It's a very good movie. I love it. The music is phenomenal. Just the theatrics of it, good movie. All right, what? Oh, what were your inspirations to start your YouTube channel? What made you want to start a YouTube channel? Ah, okay, so. I don't know like I really just I've always like I said I was a theater geek I just kind of wanted to put myself out there I've always kind of just been that cheesy in front of the camera person um, but I was on snapchat a lot just a lot doing stupid stories funny things uh, semi vlog things that I was just snapping all the time me and Chloe, you've seen her on my channel, we would make up stupid stories on Snapchat. And finally, I was like, I kept telling Chloe, I was like, I think I want to start a YouTube channel. She was like, you should do it, totally. I was like, but I don't know what I would do. And I put it off, and I put it off, and then I was like, you know what? I think I really want to do a YouTube channel. I was really watching a lot of YouTubers that I had seen start out smaller than they are now. Now, I started watching Graveyard Girl way later than most people, um, but like Daz Black, I love Daz Black, and I watched his channel grow, and Simply Neological, I remember her when she didn't have quite as many, and now she's like banging, it's crazy, but just these various people, I just really got into it, and I was like, you know, and there's uh, actually, there's also this other girl, her name is, um, Ollie Bomb is her channel, and she is British and she's a small well she's a lot bigger than me but still kind of a smaller youtuber and I loved her channel so much and I was like you know what maybe maybe that's just what I want to do I don't know but I just really kind of wanted to put myself out there and be like I'm just gonna join the YouTube tribe that's what's gonna happen it was just a thing um favorite animal but there's so many. What is my favorite animal? When I was a child, it was the monkeys. I loved like chimpanzees, that kind of monkey. Um, what's my favorite animal, Dirtle? You're a dog. What's my favorite animal, huh? You're over there snoring. I need some input. All right, fine. She just rolled over and went back to sleep. She's 11 years old. She's old. Did you hear that? <laughs> Um, I mean, domesticated dogs, cats, um, exotic, I don't do reptilia, and, um, I don't know. Lately, I have found that I really like, um, foxes are adorable to me, and elephants, but I've never really sat and been like, what kind of animal do you absolutely love? When it comes to like artwork, I mean, yeah, elephants, owls, I love artwork with owls, but I don't know. That's a loaded question. All these are loaded, apparently. Alright, what question are we on now? We're at question number eight. We got a little ways to go. Oh my lord. Um, if you can be in a movie, what movie would it be? Star Wars, Harry Potter, Harry Potter, Harry Potter, or Guardians of the Galaxy? I, I'm struggling today. Star Wars, Harry Potter, oh, see, it wouldn't be Guardians of the Galaxy, because I haven't seen that, and that doesn't interest me as much as it should. I know, people are ashamed. Um, Star Wars or Harry Potter? I mean, both of them are formed around good versus evil with a magical force that you can use for good or evil fighting the Dark Lord or the Dark Side, so... I don't know. Those are neck and neck. I, being in Harry Potter would be pretty, pretty awesome, but I don't know. Being a smuggler in Star Wars, like, yeah, most people would want to be a Jedi. I mean, yeah, Jedi Knights. I would be a Jedi Knight, but a smuggler. 
That would be fun too. I don't know. But a wizard! That could be a wizard! That's loaded. I think they're neck and neck. Just Harry Potter or hmm. I don't know. That would that both of them would be pretty awesome to be in. What type of music do you like? Whew. Um I'm very eclectic when it comes to music. I don't want to throw out that typical I like everything except rapping country. Even though that's mostly true, I don't really like country music at all. Oh, I like old school country music. I love Johnny Cash. I listen to Johnny Cash and Hank Williams. Give me Hank Williams. But I don't, for the most part. Like, if you were to play a new country song, I, I don't listen. That channel never plays on my radio. Um, I listen to some new age stuff, some folk music, jazz music, um, musicals, soundtracks. I like metal music. Uh, there's a lot of music. Some new kind of pop stuff. Um, 90s grunge bands. 80s bands. Journey. Queen. Ugh! Love them. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm quite eclectic when it comes to my music. So, Beatles. I can just keep naming bands. <laughs> there's a lot of bands. So, um, let's see. We're going to ask this question, and then you know what I'm going to do? We're going to go ahead and stop it, and we'll do a part two so that the video is not a ridiculously long, long video, and we will come back to it. So this is going to be question number 10. Favorite types of movies? Um, well, musicals, obviously, are one of my top faves. I love musicals. Disney movies. I love Disney movies. Pixar movies. Love them. Um, certain action movies, of course, like fantasy movies, Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, I about said Hogwarts, Harry Potter, um, I love those type of series movies, um, yeah, certain action, horror movies, I do love horror movies, but most horror movies suck these days, they, they're not scary, they're just stupid, and I'll start watching it, and I'm like, really, really? They're just, they're not, I don't like the, like, slasher films. Those don't do it for me. Slasher films don't, they're just gross. I don't want to see that. The type of horror movies I like are, like, oogie boogies, like, spirits, demons, evil, so that, that is creepy. Paranormal, paranormal, paranormal stuff. That's, that is scary to me. That's the stuff that I'm like, Ugh. Um, but yeah, comedies. Big into comedy, some slapstick stuff. British, I do watch a lot of British stuff. Um, British humor, I love British humor. Um, yeah, again, I'm pretty eclectic on a lot. I don't watch westerns, not big into westerns. Um, some sci-fi I can get into. Uh, not too, too big on rom-com stuff, it depends. It really depends on the storyline, but most of it I don't like because it's too predictable. So, yeah. Okay, that was the last question. What I'm going to do is we're going to take a break. What are they ah, ah, What is it called? We're taking a break, and we will come back to a part two of me finishing this up because I don't... Excuse me, I burped. That is so rude. As you age, you start having weird body functions. Moving on. But, um... We'll come back to a part two. If you enjoyed this part, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and a like and a comment and a subscribe and a follow me on all the things that you can follow me on because I've got it written down below. So I hope you guys liked it and have a fantastic day. Fantastic. I messed that up. Fantastic. Have a fantastic day and you better watch part number two.